Hi, Chris from the Roofing Center. A few days ago, I was able to sit down with Tony Tiapan from Tilcor Roofing Systems, and we discussed the benefits of a batten system. Before we get into that interview, I thought it might be a good idea to explain what a batten system is. So a batten system is basically generally a wood lattice system that's installed over the roof deck or existing roofing materials. The new roofing materials are installed on top of the lattice system, elevating the product and allowing for uh, airspace between the deck and the new roofing product. Now that you know what a batten system is, let's hear how it can benefit you. Hope you enjoy the interview. Just the, the batten system in itself now, you know, obviously there, there's a standard batten system on a 2x2 two two, and then you just mentioned batten, counter battens. Can you kind of go into uh, on the details of those installations and when you would choose one over the other? Uh, yeah, that's, that's good information to have. So if you're installing over a clean deck and you want a batten system, I uh, would use just 2x2 two two battens and roof from there. And that stands for that or any type of low profile roofing material, which will also include roofing over asphalt shingles. If you're installing over a wood shake, then you have to use what's called a counter batten. That's a vertical one by four. That uh, is the fastening point into the rafters. And then the two by twos go horizontally across. The advantage of both of them, uh, whether it's just a batten system or a counter batten system is the amount of airflow that you're going to get. On a counter batten and batten system, you get vertical and horizontal airflow. Uh, on a batten system, you're getting just the horizontal airflow. And then on directed deck, you get horizontal airflow. But the important thing to keep in mind is that all of our panels are watertight, but not airtight. So air is moving through the seams and everywhere on, on it. So a good example is driving on a hot day down the road and cracking your windows. That's essentially giving your above sheet and ventilation in your car. That's a way for air to move and get, let the hot air out. Sure, no, that makes a lot of sense. Um, and that brings me to another, another benefit. One of the things that I think is not talked about enough when it comes to roofing products and specifically stone coated is the energy efficiency benefits of stone coated. Now obviously above sheet and ventilation is gonna add to that. Um, can you touch on that a little bit and maybe give some examples? I know in my experience we've had just from doing overlays, the putting a, a, a CF shingle directed deck on an overlay on an asphalt shingle, our customers are seeing 15, 20 degrees difference in their attic temperatures. Correct, and, and we refer to, and I'll back up a little bit, we refer to above sheet ventilation. It's not something that we just are using as a term for uh, our product or anything else. It was actually a study by Oak Ridge National Labs. Uh, in the early 90s, uh, they wanted to test a system of installs for energy efficiency. And in that, they found that above sheet ventilation, whether stone coated steel or any other product that's elevated off the deck, and wanted to see how they performed against a light or cool color asphalt shingle versus the, something with the airspace. So Oak Ridge National Lab developed a study called above sheet and ventilation. And what they found in that study is that a black stone coated steel roof on a counter batten and batten system out, outperforms a cool white asphalt shingle uh, as far as heat gain into the attic. Um, so getting back to your point, above the Above sheet and ventilation helps not only in the summer, but also in the winter time. If you notice the homes that you've done in Colorado, we help mitigate ice damming. So heat coming up from the attic, heat from any type of sunlight, underneath the panel is in that airspace. That airspace moves down to your eaves, rakes, and valleys and, and hips, and that helps mitigate ice damming, the freeze thaw. So if you look at the science of heat, um, hot goes to cold. So uh, if you think about a hot summer day, the, your attic in the morning time is cooler than the outside temperature, so hot wants to transfer in. So when you're on an asphalt shingle, the shingle heats up to where it can no longer retain the heat. Then it transfers that heat from outside the deck, heats up the deck, and then into the attic because the attic's cooler. But take that a step fuller, uh, further, your insulation in your attic also heats up and it's building up the same way until it can no longer dissipate or hold any more heat. You're in a conditioned or air conditioned space in the interior of your home. So now that heat is transferring into the home. 
uh, from the attic. Um, the reverse process takes, has to take place at night when the sun goes down, when it's cooler outside. So if you ever imagine, I'll use a car for example as, as well, when the sun goes down at night, your car is cool to the touch, which is metal. Right. The asphalt on the street is still warm and the sidewalk, which are concrete, are still warm. So that heat has to dissipate. So it has to go the reverse process before the home can get uh, cooler. Yep. So you are gonna see, uh, uh, with doing nothing else, you are gonna see a reduction in your energy bills because of using a stone coated steel whether it's on a, a batten system or direct to deck yeah and that's one thing that i know i like to talk about um when it comes to stone coated steel and it, it plays into the the lifetime value of the, of the product not only is it a long lasting and durable product but you get the energy efficiency benefits which are going to save you money on hvac and heating costs as well um, i did want to touch on one thing you said uh in regards to the oak ridge laboratory testing um, another factor within that is any cool roof you know white energy energy efficient or energy star rated roof shingle that has an effectiveness of roughly three to five years because of airborne contaminants with a stone coated steel roof that's going to last the life of the roof which is going to be you know probably in excess of 50 years and that's another huge benefit that i don't think it's talked about enough that, that's correct um, so you know, you figure three to five years where the airspace in a stone coated steel is for the life of the product. It never goes away. So your savings is forever on that product. Um, but one of the th other things that we probably want to mention that uh, when you're re-roofing, you have the ability to add insulation. We could add with a batten system or even a direct -to deck system, you could add insulation on top of the roof deck which is gonna put your R value on the most critical part of the home, which is on top of your roof. If you think about you know, vertical windows, everyone's gone to either vinyl or wood, the airspace, you're using dual pane windows with low E, so you're getting some reflectivity and emissivity out of that. You could do the same thing with your roof, which is a much bigger surface than your windows or doors would ever cover. Absolutely. So why not take advantage at the time that you're doing a re-roof? It's something that's added, it's gonna give you bigger savings on your energy, heating, and cooling bills uh, summer and winter by adding insulation on top of your roof deck opposed to the, the ceiling floor. Now what type of insulation would that be? Just, a just plain rollout insulation or? So, so historically back in the, in the 80s, uh, roofing companies were using inch and a half fiberglass or fi uh, fiber foil back in the day, but we found that you know there are some reflective insulations out there like solar skin, for example. Uh, is a reflective insulation. It comes in two different styles. One's for um, solar skin C. It's approved for under asphalt shingles. It makes a regular shingle cool roof okay. rated. Um, and then the other one that I'm excited about is one that's a synthetic underlayment, has fiberglass mat and a high reflective foil on top. So it's your water barrier as well as your insulating and reflect radiant barrier. Um, and that has a R value of 5.5 .5 tested under the Tilcor roof system. So adding 5.5 .5 on the critical point of entry is huge. Yep, and not only, um, not only on the, the insulation part of it, um, obviously we're here in Colorado, you're from California, wildfires are a huge concern. Um, the, the Class A solar skin product, along with, with uh, the stone coated seal or till four roof makes it a complete class A system, correct? That's correct. So there's a difference between, so all till core products are class A rated, uh, class four for impact uh, for anybody that's in the hail markets. So those are two big uh, features on it. That's meaning that they're not gonna crack, burn, or split, or curl, um, or really dent on some of the profiles. I mean, they're fantastic for um, class four for impact. But with fire areas, you want a class A system installed. By doing that, you have a few options. If you're overlaying asphalt shingle, it's a class A. If you're using solar skin A, that's a class A system install. Uh, what's great about the Tilcore products, whether it's on a batten or directed deck, is high wind uplift, 120 mile an hour wind uplift. We're a closed system, so burning embers aren't gonna get uh, into the system when there's high winds. Uh, and if you're familiar, Chris and I 
like he said, we're both in the, the Colorado and California markets where we had bad wildfires this year. Uh, wildfires generate hurricane force winds that people aren't aware of. Um, so it's a firestorm, it literally is. It's a fire tornado almost. It, correct. So what happens is, uh, you know, some roofing products that aren't attached at the nose or interlocked at the nose will start to lift. That gives the ability for burning embers to get in and sit and just uh, fester. 